Secretary of State to put this office under receivership of the state of Florida. He needs to come down here. He needs to put this office under receivership. They do not know what they're doing. You know, Rapunzel spun straw into gold. Here, you're spinning tens of thousands of ballots out of thin air, out of nothing. There's no chain of custody for these ballots. There's no, um, there's no ballot reconciliation where we see at each polling place how many ballots were sent, how many were voted, and how many were turned unvoted. That, these are the checks against corruption, and they're hiding. They're not being transparent. Today, at 3 o'clock, there is a proceeding where we are going to seek to enforce the Public Records Act in the state of Florida. It is the constitutional right of every Floridian under the Florida Constitution to have access to the records of government. And, and we ought to be able to have those, and we're going to seek to enforce them today. Listen, listen, they, they can't, they, they are spinning ballots out of nothing. If you don't have a chain of custody for these ballots, if you don't have reporting on each machine how many votes were cast, there's also an electronic system that the supervisor of elections uses to validate identification. Those check-ins we are requesting so that we can see who voted early, who voted at a precinct, and whose votes may have just been made up. Congressman Matt Gates. Yes, we are requesting the reports from each ballot so that we could see how many votes were cast at each precinct. That allows us to be able to create some universe of known ballots. One of the things that's most frustrating now is that we don't even have a true understanding of how many ballots are left to count, how many are out there, and once we get four corners on the universe of ballots, we can have greater confidence in the results. But they're playing hide the ball with freaking ballots. The most important thing that we have to be transparent about. Why are you here? The Secretary of State has the power to seek a receivership of this office, and the Secretary of State needs to put the Broward County Supervisor of Elections Office in a state of receivership under the state because we cannot allow this to continue to be the banana republic of Broward County. I'm here because in Northwest Florida, where we had a damn hurricane, we were able to get our results counted in a matter of hours. And so if my people in Northwest Florida were able to show up and vote, do their job, count the ballots, report them according to law, the votes of my constituents should not be undermined because of crooked or incompetent or corrupt behavior here in Broward County. What do you think is going on here? You know, you, ha you have an officer here who has been criticized by Republicans and Democrats alike for not doing her job, for violating the rules, for being non-compliant with state statutes. And so it's, it's my sincere concern that that incompetence has allowed a culture of corruption to metastasize within the office. Uh, my, my goal is for the Secretary of State to put this office in a state of receivership and for people all over Florida to know that, their, that the integrity of their of their vote is being undermined by some incompetent or corrupt officials in Broward County. Secretary Dexter works for the governor, or he could easily make He should. He so should. What's the holdup then? I listen, there should be no holdup. Today, Ken Densler needs to take over this office and put it in a state of receivership. What does that mean, state of receivership? I mean, that means he would functionally act as the Broward supervisor because she's not doing her job. You cannot merely abandon your post in state government and walk away or just engage in these totally ultra vires acts beyond the scope of your authority. That's inappropriate. Yes, you have a question? Congressman, can you tell us what you're doing?